Today we're going to explore CMAPS Analytics Designer and build our first map. Upon logging in, you'll have the ability to create a geographic map, visit our help center, or even view our API docs, which can be used by a developer to weave the map that you create in Designer into your application. We're going to create a geographic map, and we can create a new map, edit an existing project by importing it from your desktop, or even start from a template. We have a growing library of templates with pre-built functionality, so you can reverse engineer and see how various experiences are created, or even use it as a starting point for your own application. In this case, we're going to build our first map view together. Upon entering CMAPS Designer, you have a few options across the top related to the map design, code view, and help. And on the right hand side, you have a property sheet where you'll configure all of the map behaviors, appearance, and data. So let's name our map My First Map, and let's create our first map layer. So I click Create Layer, and I have multiple layer types available to me, from points to regions. If we wanted US by state or world by country, we can do that out of the box. We could do hub and spoke diagrams, or even our new indoor map viewer. In this case, let's create a points layer. The first thing that we decide is what kind of data we want to bring into our map. Through CMAPS Analytics API, you can wire up any data source and embed CMAPS Analytics views into any application. While in CMAPS Analytics Designer, you have multiple common formats from JSON to CSV, OData, and GeoJSON. But in this case, we're going to copy and paste some data right from an Excel spreadsheet. This is a great feature because then you can mock up your experience and even save and distribute to stakeholders so you can rapidly modify your map's experience based on business needs. If you're following our Hello World tutorial, we provide some data for you, and you can copy that from Excel right into CMAPS Analytics. When I click Save, CMAPS Analytics is automatically going to draw all those points, and instantly I can preview and interact with the map as an end user. Now, if we wanted to change any of the visual or behavior attributes for this map, we can go back to Edit a Layer, select that layer, and then change any number of appearance properties from drilling to the map style to coloring, or even set up alerts. Alerts are important because we can change not only the coloring, but also the styling based on the business data that we bring in. In this case, let's set up a simple choropleth by changing the number of alert levels, and we can quickly modify the color so that any low values are blue, and any high values are white. When I click Save, it's instantly going to repaint our point so that as an end user, I can identify outliers using color. Now that I have a very basic map that I want to save or distribute, I can go to Save and Save as HTML. I can open this map up directly on my desktop, preview and make sure that this is the experience that I want, or even email it to other stakeholders on my team without installing any software. Additionally, I could even embed this inside of a custom app. If we go back to Designer and you go to the code view, you could literally copy only a handful of lines of code and paste this directly inside of any application. If your developer is going to be integrating this inside of your application, you can save an XML configuration file, which you could then import right back into Designer the next time you want to modify any of the properties. Finally, as you navigate through the properties, we have interactive help that will bring you context-specific help as you click through and navigate the over 100 properties within the property sheet. As you explore other tutorials, you'll see how fast you can create more sophisticated map experiences for drilling, navigating, and visualizing business data within a geographic map.